All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick here, and I'm going to kind of probably fumble through this, but uh, I'm going to show you how to put your waypoints into a combat flight for your flight and uh, how you will um, how you will send it back to me so that I don't get all these weird things and it just make makes my life easier. I spend enough time building these missions. So uh, if you guys could take a few minutes to learn combat flight, it would really help me out. So here's what we do. So we've got open up combat flight. We obviously have our blank map here. We are going to open the combat, the Intel combat flight, uh, which I already sent out. So it's always in the Intel section. So you would have downloaded that and now we're going to open it. So here it is in my downloads folder. Uh, Op, Op Liberty M6, I'm going to open that up. So as you see, all the other flights are in here, right? And you see on the right in this white box over here that uh, we have everybody's flight, Voodoo, Avenger, Fist, blah, 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 right? So we're going to create a new flight. So we will go to Object and Flight, okay? And you're going to pick your aircraft, uh, pick your mission, which doesn't even really matter, but, you know, whatever. So uh, let's use AV-8s here. Uh, payload doesn't matter. You can skip that. Um, flight size, I mean, if you know you're going to have four, put four, three, two, whatever. Your best guess, it's not critical. Uh, go to waypoints. Okay. And now we're going to pick our waypoints. So first thing we're going to do is put in our call sign now. You can put in custom call signs, and uh, I'll show you how to do that when we're done with this. But as you can see, I've already adjusted the call signs for all of ours, so I have it in here, and I'll show you how to do that when we're all done here. Um, package doesn't matter. Uh, the call sign here, let's make it uh, shank 3 because we've already got two shanks in there. So shank 3, right? You see what I did there? Um, the rest of the stuff doesn't matter, not critical. So we're going to launch these guys from uh, Kasab, let's say. Okay, so we zoom in on Kasab, click our first waypoint there. Okay, the waypoint type does not matter to me. Um, if you really want to get crazy with it, you can fill in all these details and it will give you things like time on target, like put in your, so we would make this as takeoff from ramp, right, or parking hot actually. Um, and uh, put in your altitude speeds, all that kind of stuff. Again, this is not important to me, but you could use it if you want to really plan the flight, figure out your time on targets. Uh, that's how you would do it, all that. All I'm concerned about is having your waypoints so I can put them in. So then you would just pick your waypoints. Like, so let's say we're going to do uh, Killbox Hotel here. So we want to pick our IP or whatever waypoints we want. So let's say we're going to tank first. So... We'll go over here to, um, oh, sorry, I moved, so well, I'll show you how to move that. So I put this waypoint down by accident, right? Right click, goes away. Now I get the arrow back, click back on the flight, move the waypoint where I want to go. And hold on now because I need to figure out how to add the next one. Oh, there it is, insert waypoint. Sorry, it's right up at the top. So you can hit click on insert waypoints up here. So once you move your waypoint where you want, you go back to insert here, and now we can start putting waypoints again. So um, our next waypoint is going to be up here for, let's put our IP right there, all right? You can name it IP, like steer point, let's make it an IP, okay? You don't have to do that. It's not critical to me, but for your own planning purposes. So, and then we'll put two waypoints here, all right? And then we'll put another waypoint back on Kasab right there all right so that's it so now that flight is there okay um you can change the color of your flight to help with your planning so that uh you can kind of see it does help me kind of differentiate sometimes so let's make these guys uh pink that's good breast cancer awareness so make it pink okay you see it you can turn these dog houses off i personally don't like the all this other shit in here and you'd have to go to each waypoint to do it but you guys get the point um and there it is. And then we right click and now that flight is in there and done. All right. And now you can see, as you can see, I can see everyone else's flights, right? If I want to just look at mine, I just unclick everyone else's. All right. And then we can click everybody else's in, which is usually how I start. So I can see where all the other flights are going to be. So I can deconflict, right? So look at that mess. So the other thing, now that we're ready to go with this, okay, 
the last thing you're going to do is delete all these other flights except for yours. So Shank 3 is the flight we just added. We're going to right click, delete, enter. Voodoo, right click, delete, enter. Avenger, right click, delete, enter. All right, and we're going to go down the list for each one and delete them, except for Shank 3, which is the one we just added. All right. In other words, except for the flights you've added, you're going to delete everybody else's flight, and I'll tell you why in a second. But we're going to delete all those flights. So now there is just one flight in this combat flight. Or if you were planning, if you were sending me two, three, four flights, however many flights, those are the only flights that I should see is the ones that you are adding. Okay? Then we're going to save it. So save as. Do not do not save it as the combat flight you downloaded because it just confuses shit on my end. Hit save as. All right, and we're going to make this shank three. All right, and that's it. All right, shank three, CF, I don't care what you name it, but make sure you put your flight name in there so I have it. All right, shank three, combat flight. Click save, okay? And then this combat flight with one flight in it is going to be the one that you are going to email to me. What, that, what happens is if you email me all the flights together, I have to go in and I have to delete all the other flights. And it's just more time on me. I'm already spending god-awful, ridiculous amount of hours of my life building these missions. Uh, it's the least you could do is just spend a few minutes on the combat flight to help me out. What happens is when I go to import these, there is no option for me to import just one flight that I know of. So if you leave all the flights in there and I get your combat flight and I import it, what happens is it just doubles up everyone else's flights and I have to go back in and delete them again. It just causes confusion. So here's what ends up happening on my end. So I get your combat flight, I open it up, I see your one flight, right? Um, what I do is I then would close it, open up the master combat flight, import combat flight flights right here, and I would import yours. We're doing it the opposite direction, so I'm going to import the Op, Op Liberty combat flights, but watch this. Now all the flights are in there, okay? And if yours had contained extra flights, all these other flights, it would have doubled up everything else. So that's how that works. Now, as far as uh, putting in custom call signs, so you can put your call signs in there. We go to, I believe it's options, yep. And then settings up here okay and then custom and as you can see custom call signs there they are okay and you just put them in there and you can type in whatever you want okay um, I don't know let's uh, make a guns loves men flight all right so those are the your flight options and now I apply that close it and what happens is uh, now when I go to name a flight, so let's see if I can edit this flight here. Now when I go to uh, name Shank 3 here, all right, it's custom. You would select put in your flight, all right, custom call sign, and then there's your list, and we can now name that Guns Loves Men. Okay, so if you have any questions about your uh, combat flight, how to do it, how to do anything, I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, it's a really great tool for planning your missions and stuff. I really just use it like as you guys can see here. This is the mission coming up on Sunday. Um, we put all this stuff in here and then you guys can all see this and we can brief it uh, through a uh, Discord window and it just it's really useful. It's great. So anyway, thanks for the time and I appreciate you guys helping me out with this. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.